1960, Sir David Webster said, we have a position for you. And I, of course, I was thrilled out of my mind because I'd waited for 10 years to be at Covent Garden. And then I found I was sent to Aldborough. I go, I go, look how I go. Swifter, the letter from the Tartars, boom! But then when I got there, I was sent because the English Opera Group had been taken over by the Royal Opera House and I was sent there to represent the Opera House and in fact to run it as senior stage manager. It was called stage director in those days. But I was the senior person technically in charge of the whole operation. And they were doing a new production of uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. And because I got on so well with Ben, um, I was able to make friends because Joan Cross had been my mentor for all those years and said nice things about me. So when my name came up with Ben, I got very, very good marks from very, very important people in Ben's life. So I was sort of rather spoiled and I was given a very, very special um, chance to be friends and to be part of the family. Really. I think doing it in the Jubilee Hall was, um, for us, not, it didn't seem that strange at the time. It has done, of course, since. But it was going on there. It was in this new theatre, which had been built specially for the Orba Festival. And it was the first time it was being done. The voices were not huge. I mean, they weren't, for instance, like Vishnevskaya, who sang a recital that first year, or the second year I was there whose voice, I mean, practically blew the windows out. I mean, the, the cast were all excellent singers, of course, but they weren't, the voices weren't so huge that they couldn't be contained in the, in the Jubilee Hall. And it was orchestrated to fit the Jubilee Hall. John Piper had designed a set with two revolving stages. Can you believe two revolving stages in the Jubilee Hall? It was a series of scrims or gauzes and then there were two revolving stages and there were, the revolves had three, three sides so that there were three different views of the wood because Ben had written the interludes where the, the wood changes, it goes into a different part of the wood and because of the limits of the, the, the Jubilee Hall you couldn't fly anything, there was no flying system, you could draw something across. Um, if, you, if you wanted to, you could just draw a screen into there. But the, the two revolves were an ideal way of doing it because you divide those into three and you've got a third and another third which turned around to become a cooler bit of the forest, a leafier bit or the bower or whatever.